What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be compiling the 6.13 kernel from scratch using the Cache OS kernel manager and we are going to compile the open NVIDIA module. Now I want to try this out. I want to see what happens and I want to see if this works properly. So to do this, all the patches are there. Build kernel. Mm, I'm hoping for the best on this one because I uh uh, PT says that it works with the open module, not the closed source drivers. So I'm going to have some fun with this. We're going to have some fun with this. Let's just zoom in. How do we zoom in? Ah, we're going to go like that to zoom in. Can I like I'm just hit enter, make it start all over again. All right, so here it goes. It's now extracting everything with BSDR. Uh, BT, yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I've been waiting on this one. I'm going to just hit enter, 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 enter. And we're going to just boom. Look at it go. Now, unless I'm told otherwise about it. Uh, yeah. All right, there it goes. And it's time. Well, we're back and it's finally finished. It asked me if I wanted to install the packages and that's just what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm going to hit a password. I'm going to enter my password and I'm going to hit yes for installation. And now it's going to do its thing. Oh, no. Well, that's just vendor reset. I don't care about vendor reset. That's for AMD GPUs. I forgot that I needed to remove that. and I will be removing that very soon. Uh, cause my iGPU needs vendor reset for when I use it and I don't want to use it. I don't want to touch it. I have my NVIDIA GPU and that's what we're going to be using. Now this is going to take a while, but with this, we still, we get to keep our normal 6.12 auto FDO kernel. And with this, we get to use the 6.13 kernel as well. And it didn't remove anything out of the 6.12 kernel, forcing me to use, you know, the open drivers on both so i get to use the open drivers on 6.13 and uh by the way command failed to execute correctly <laughs> but successfully because it worked so on the 6.12 i use the closed source for testing on 6.13 right now you can only use the open modules because they were patched to work on this so i'm gonna restart and we're gonna see if this worked or not uh Wish me luck. Okay, guys, we're back. And guess what? The 6.13 kernel is actually working and functioning with NVIDIA. Thanks to the Cache OS developers for putting the work into making that function. And uh, we're using it right now. And I'd show you, but I'm currently in the middle of a game. All jokes aside, I can literally just do that. Uh, by the way, I do find this a bit creepy and uncanny valley, but it's also to the point where I can enjoy it at the same time. Don't know what it is, but yeah, uh, there you go. The Does this even show the kernel? It does. The Linux 6.13 RC1 Cache OS kernel, and there's my NVIDIA card. So that's pretty cool. I enjoy that. That makes me very, very happy. And I have noticed... An increase in performance which is pretty great when you can see minor stuff like that happen uh, let me just open up this with my browser and show you so this over here is the 6.13 kernels you can see I did it today and this is the 6.12 kernel which I did on November the 27th so the big news is the multi-core score went up by a lot so instead of it being 20k it went to 22k which, you know, most people might think that's not really that big, but uh, when you think about it, that's big enough that it makes a difference. So I was very, very happy about that. And I mean, uh, there's not much else I can say. I'm glad that this kernel is working and functioning. And I've been gaming with it, recording with it, doing other stuff with it, just trying to overall find out if there's anything wrong with it. And I can honestly tell you that there is, there is something wrong with it. When I boot up with it, if I just let it sit, okay, it will freeze. If I hit Control Alt F3 while booting up, spamming the crap out of that, it tends to not freeze. 
So I don't know if that's a problem with my system or anything like that, but it's a bug and it's a bug that I can bypass and honestly one that I don't really mind. Anyway, uh, I hope that shows you how to compile a custom kernel using the Cache OS kernel manager. I already had a video about that, but this one kind of goes more into detail about that, I guess. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video. And, uh, you know, join the Discord. We have a memes channel about Linux. It's fun. Uh, we get to make fun of certain things. Anyway, I'm off.